The officer's report, paras 1.14 to 1.19, omits the main reason why this option was chosen. It was not, as the report suggests, to serve the villages. The route is not close to the centre of any of the villages. The case of Staplewood and Shelford is outside the villages up a hill, meaning that apart from a small number of households, it's quicker to travel to the biomedical campus to Cambridge by a train or using the DNA cycle path. Even in Sawston, seat at bus stop can only serve the people living on the eastern part of the village. The remainder of the village is a mile and a half away. The route was chosen because the then mayor of Cambridge, James Palmer, insisted that major public transport infrastructure must be capable of being used on the Cambridge Autonomous Metro Scheme. This became policy under his transport plan. Because building bus lanes next to 1307 did not meet his criteria, the GCP had no choice but to opt for the new bus road through the countryside. However, the mayor had no funding or a business case for his metro. When a new mayor was elected in 2021, it was dropped from transport plans. By this time, the GCP had spent two years and significant public money progressing the scheme. This is sunk capital, and one of the main reasons why large projects like Juggernauts are very difficult to turn around. Rather than acknowledge the main reason the scheme no longer existed and care to review, the GCP has simply ploughed on. The influence of the mayor is included in the notes of the GCP decision. And at the time, I, that is James Littlewood, Chief Executive of Cambridge Past, Present and Future, was told by the project manager for the CSET scheme the mayor was the main reason for the off-road route. In private discussions, I, again that's James, have held with some of the local decision makers, they share our concerns that the wrong scheme has been chosen, but none of them want to rock the boat. As assembly members, your role is to scrutinize and question the proposals presented to you. In your report, why is there no mention of the main reason this option for CSET was selected, or that there is any doubt that the wrong decision has been made? And then in terms of um, James's, uh, James Littlewood's question, my notes. Um, so I don't agree with James's assertion. The CSET scheme has been subject to five public consultations. It has been supported through those consultations. It's a, we have gone through a series of iterations in terms of the business case. We have currently an outline business case stage, which is the business case stage we're supposed to be at. And it will come back subject to a planning decision for full business case stage. And again, the decision can then be taken to progress or otherwise. It's worth noting that coming out of this work, that the Cambridge South East scheme supports um, a corridor that is under considerable pressure now with planned growth and congestion and traffic of 50% over the next decade. We have 20,000 people currently working in, um, in the biomedical campus, albeit I think that's a little bit of an underestimation. We're looking at 26,000 by by the end of the decade. We've got 6,000 people working at Granter Park and, and, and Babram. There's a need to make sure that there are sustainable travel options provided to people in and around those campus sites and indeed in and around the villages, which is something that both this assembly and the board have expressed the desire for previously. So the paper today focuses on the government grant and the government grant only. Thank you, Chair. Um, Peter, I just could, could I just um, ask you about? I'm um, just trying to make sure people get the answers to their questions, or at least a response to them. Um, the James Littlewood in, in his question was was, was telling us that um, the scheme is only what it is because of the the, the then as um, metro project. Um, I just felt that that needed more direct answering, perhaps? It isn't. It isn't. You can't develop a business case on the basis of it will be so. The business case required by Department for Transport um, in all of its glory requires you to assess the various cases from strategic to financial to the benefits case to say this is this is the scheme that you are bringing forward. These are the options that you are, have assessed, and therefore this is the ra rationale that you've you, you used to apply that. We, as the County Council, uh, as Peterborough City Council, are obliged to reflect the strategic position of the local transport plan, which is what was done at the time. But that 
did not require an off-road only solution to be explored and indeed in the business case other solutions have been explored with the rationale outlined and should this get to a public inquiry I'm sure the question will, will be asked at that point and we will be explaining and articulating that to the planning inspector. But thank you for that elaboration.